First, was it an innocent mishap or something much more sinister? A Manatee County woman's death is a mystery, and her family says something is not adding up. Welcome to Nightside. I'm Katie McCall. And I'm Carolina Lead. Investigators say the last person to see her alive, her on-again, off-again boyfriend, has stopped returning their calls. Nightside reporter Josh Sidorowitz shows you why her family is growing increasingly suspicious as detectives try to piece together how she suddenly died. We're hurting um, and we're lost. With just 10 years between them, Alyssa Hunt says her Aunt Michelle... She was more than just my aunt. She was like a best friend to me. The day of her death, December 16th, the two had brunch. And she went on, you know, she seemed normal to me. But what Alyssa didn't know was that Michelle and her on-again, off-again boyfriend of five years wound up taking a boat ride later that day, setting off from Philippe Harbor Club Marina in Sarasota to the Casey Key Fish House in Osprey, where things took a turn. His story is that she fell off the dock and that she wasn't feeling good the rest of the time. This is where detectives say they were told Michelle fell. It's also one of the last places they believe she was seen alive by anyone other than her boyfriend. Witnesses are key because there were people at the fish house on Casey Key. Boyfriend told investigators Michelle started vomiting, so the two made their way back, eventually returning to Michelle's Lakewood Ranch home where Michelle went unconscious. She was pronounced dead at the hospital that night. I mean, it's so hard to process and she was very young and with no issues, no health issues or anything like that. Now as questions mount, investigators say Michelle's boyfriend has stopped talking. Are you suspicious? I'm just disappointed that the person who was with her is not come forward to, to discuss the details about what has happened. Details detectives and loved ones are eager to figure out. That Michelle had a heart of gold and that everybody who knew her loved her and that we just want the answers for her so that we can have some peace. Investigators are still waiting on an official cause of death from the medical examiner. We are not naming Michelle's boyfriend because at this point he is not considered a suspect or a person of interest.